1944, Alexander Cartvelli, designer of the legendary Republic P-47 Thunderbolt fighter, began working on a jet-powered successor. Cartvelli's tubby-looking Jug proved a tough, hard-hitting ground attack plane and a fast, far-flying escort fighter in World War II. Unable to cram a turbojet in the Thunderbolt airframe, the Georgian engineer drafted a clean-sheet design dubbed the XP-84 Thunderjet, with a J-35 turbojet spanning the fuselage from the intake in the nose to the tailpipe, with fuel stored in wingtip tanks. Though a prototype briefly set a national speed record in 1946, early model Thunderjets, redesignated F-84S, required excessive maintenance and proved unstable due to weak wing spars for the thick wings and shaky wingtip fuel tanks. The Pentagon nearly cancelled the jet prematurely when Republic finally introduced the F-84D model addressing the most glaring flaws by introducing sturdier wing spars, revised fuel tanks, a functioning ejection seat, and a more powerful J-35A-17 engine. Like the P-47, the Thunderjet was a heavy-feeling plane with high takeoff and landing speeds. It required longer, mile-long runways and was less maneuverable than the Air Force's earlier F-80 Shooting Star jet fighter. However, the F-84 was faster at 610 miles per hour, had a greater range of 800 miles, and was a hard-hitting and stable gun platform. In addition to its six extra-fast-firing M3.50 caliber, it could lug 32 5-inch high-velocity rockets or two tons of bombs. Once the early model's flaws were corrected, the Thunderjet also proved highly maintainable, its guts designed for easy access to mechanics. However, Cartavelli's design used traditional straight rather than swept wings, which delay the formation of shock waves when approaching supersonic speeds. This left the Thunderjet slower and less agile than the near-contemporary swept wing F-86 Sabre and the Soviet MiG-15, which could attain speeds of around 680 miles per hour. Six months into the Korean War, in December 1950, F-84Es of the 27th Fighter Escort Wing were dispatched to Taegu Air Base in South Korea to escort four-engine B-29 strategic bombers on raids targeting the Chinese border with North Korea. The F-84E model was lengthened 15 inches to carry additional fuel and incorporated a radar-assisted gun sight. Thunderjets first encountered MiGs on January 21, 1952, when eight F-84S raiding Chongchon Bridge were bounced by two flights of MiG-15S, which shot an F-84 down. A MiG was claimed in return, but Soviet records reveal no corresponding losses. Two days later, F-84S and B-29S launched a massive raid targeting the airfield at Pyongyang. The MiGs, which excelled at high altitudes, were forced to dogfight strafing Thunderjets on the deck. Three communist jets were shot down and two more crippled. However, thereafter the faster MiG-15S mostly engaged F-84S at high altitudes while escorting B-29S, repeatedly breaking through screens of up to 50 to 100 Thunderjets to ravage the B-29S they were escorting. Henceforth, the UN forces in Korea switched heavy bombers to less accurate night raids. F-86S focused on the MiG threat, while F-84S were relegated to ground attack missions their tremendous firepower unleashed to strike frontline troops, blast rear area depots, artillery batteries and convoys, cover helicopter search and rescue operations, and bombard key infrastructure targets. Over the course of the war, Thunderjets flew 86,000 missions and dropped 61,000 tons of bombs and napalm canisters. By one tally, accounting for 60% of ground targets destroyed by the U.S. Air Force during the war. The F-84's robustness proved an asset, allowing it to survive punishing hits from heavy communist flak. In June 1952, 84 Thunderjets obliterated 90% of the Suiho Dam complex, knocking out electricity throughout all of North Korea for two weeks. However, the raid, intended to pressure North Korean peace negotiators, backfired inspiring anti-war opposition in the British Parliament while conversely causing hawks in the U.S. to complain that the raid should have taken place sooner. Nonetheless, in 1953, F-84S were hammering dams at Toxin and Chaesan, causing huge floods that swamped bridges, railway lines and roads, and badly damaged crops. By then, the final F-84G model had arrived in theater, bringing with it an uprated J-35 engine and revolutionary new in-flight refueling capability. 
F-84S could connect their wingtip tanks to a probe trailed by a KB-29 tanker, allowing them to fly missions over Korea from bases in Japan. Sponsored content. Of 335 F-84Ds, E's and G's lost to all causes during the Korean War. At least 135 were destroyed by flak. U.S. records claim a further 18 were shot down by MiGs, while Soviet and Chinese flyers claimed 65. A side-by-side -side comparison of loss records, broken down here, suggests a number closer to 25 F-84S lost in aerial combat, including a maneuver kill, two crashes due to battle damage, and one incident of mutual mid-air collision, in exchange for 7 to 8 MiGs. But F-84S and MiG-15S continued to battle on other fronts of the Cold War. On March 10, 1953, a MiG-15 encountered a two-ship F-84 patrol apparently straying into Czech airspace near Merklin. Czech pilot Jaroslav Sramek told. They banked sharply and flew off at full throttle. But because the MiG-15S were better the F-84S, we were able to turn easily and maneuver into a position where I could fire a warning shot. The warning shot hit his backup tank on the right-hand side. Fuel started escaping from it. He tried to escape to the south. In view of the fact that I was higher than him, I was able to catch him easily, and my second round disabled him. After firing the shot, I saw flames coming from his craft, so I stopped and headed home. Pilot Warren Brown ejected, and his crashed jet was found 10 miles into the German side of the border. The Republic of China Air Force received 246 F-84Gs, which clashed repeatedly with their communist counterparts over the Taiwan Strait. In a series four four-on-four -four engagements in 1955 and 1956, Rokaf Thunderjets claimed five MiG-15 for no loss, though two Thunderjets were shot down in smaller-scale dogfights, and a third was lost to flak. However, on July 29, 1958, newer, ultra-maneuverable MiG-17S bounced four F-84S and shot down two over Nanao Island, helping trigger the second Taiwan Strait crisis. Of 3,000 F-84Gs built, Washington transferred over 200 each to Belgium, Denmark, France, Greece, Italy, Norway, and even communist Yugoslavia as part of the MDAP military assistance program. Particularly prolific operators included France, 335, and Turkey, 489, while Iran, the Netherlands, and Thailand received smaller numbers. F-84Gs became the first fighter operated by the Air Force's Thunderbirds Aerobatics in 1953. Thunderjets stationed in Europe, meanwhile, became the first single-engine aircraft modified to deliver a nuclear weapon. The one 680-pound Mark VII nuclear bomber with an adjustable yield as high as 61 kilotons. To avoid getting caught in the apocalyptic blast, the Thunderjet employed a low-altitude bombing system to semi-accurately toss their nuclear payload while climbing, then bank sharply to the side as the deadly warhead arced away. The sturdy and steady F-84 also served as a platform to test new concepts, most importantly pioneering aerial refueling of jet fighters. But some of the ideas didn't exactly pan out. An attempt to modify the F-84 to be towed behind the B-29S it was meant to escort and this extend range by saving fuel, ended in a deadly collision. F-84S were also tested with rocket boosters so that they could perform zero-length takeoffs from truck trailers should a nuclear war destroy all the airfields. By 195...